is a 40 year old patient that presented uh, as a referral to our hospital uh, with coma and uh, quadriparesis. Um, the CT scan uh, is uh, showing a large area of hyperdensity within the brainstem involving the pons and uh, moving upwards uh, towards the uh, tectum. You see that the fourth ventricle is uh, not majorly compressed. Uh, you don't see associated subarachnoid hemorrhage or intraventricular uh, significant hemorrhage. Uh, the patient at the time of presentation had very high blood pressure, 250 systolic. Uh, so this is presumed to be related to hypertensive hemorrhage. The most common location for hypertensive hemorrhage is typically in the basal ganglia. Uh, although in some chronic hypertensive patients, the same disease process that happens in the basal ganglia could also happen in the small perforators of the uh, basilar artery, specifically the pontine perforators, and this could also be a location for uh, hypertensive hemorrhage. But in a parenchymal pontine uh, hemorrhage, uh, especially in young patients, you should also consider uh, other underlying lesions uh, such as vascular uh, lesions. Uh, the most common vascular lesion in the pons would probably be a uh, underlying cavernoma or cavernous hemangioma and uh, this is something that usually is angiographically occult. Uh, if there's no prior studies uh, to see whether there's any evidence of that uh, lesion before such as calcifications or what we call the typical popcorn calcifications. Uh, then it will be difficult to say this could be just the first presentation of hemorrhage. Uh, sometimes the cavernomas will have multiple leaks and multiple symptoms that are self-limiting. Uh, other option uh, or possibility could be underlying arterial malformation, small AVMs. Uh, if you do a CT angiogram, sometimes it could help in the acute phase. Uh, the problem if you want to see on MR, you will not be able to identify small uh, cavernomas or AVMs until the hemorrhage has resolved, which typically will take a few months. Uh, so in young patients, if you are suspecting high likelihood of underlying arteriovenous malformation, then it is ideal to do uh, after CT angiogram, for example, uh, you do a diagnostic angiogram to exclude underlying AVM. If you don't see anything on the diagnostic angio, it could be either a cavernoma or uh, could be uh, uh, underlying tumor which does not show vascularity or so forth or obviously in a case like this could also be just a simple hypertensive hemorrhage.